ask me writing tips. Hello everyone or anyone that is watching this. Um, I'm trying to pin a comment here. Hi Lydia Jones, hello. Um, I wanted to do this live stream because I said that I was going to um, live stream the writing workshop earlier, but I didn't get a chance to. It was one of those things where I was so in the moment that it just didn't happen. So I'm really glad that I was able to be present with everyone there and we had a lovely time. As I said on my Insta story earlier, I was super, super nervous, but um, yeah, I'm so glad that happened. And I wanted to show you guys, and, and please excuse my kitchen back there, it's a hot mess. But um, one of the young ladies named Alana who came, she actually wrote me um, a poem and she wrote it while we were sitting there and I wanted to read it to you guys. Have you seen bees around flowers? The attraction is undeniably magnetic. The beauty is in this attraction is the flowers simply just exist. All you have to do is exist. God loves you in the same way bees love flowers. And I just thought that was the sweetest thing. Um, she came, gave that to me when the event was over and I was just, I was just floored. I was speechless. Um, I'm, I'm one of those people like I either know exactly what to say or I have no idea what to say at all. Um, and then Dina, she runs a page called Enjoy the Journey. She just blew me away with an entire folder of amazing artwork that she's made of my quotes. Like, do you see this? I, I was like, Dina, that's so kind of you. And then Carrie wrote me this wonderful note um, with some really great topography on it. And then I think Lisanne gave me, sorry, this angle was awful, gave me this. So she was inspired by one of the art projects I posted before. So I was really excited about that. And hello to everyone that's watching this and is leaving comments. Hi, Jocelyn, you, said you like my writing. I really appreciate that. Thank you. You're highly considering starting a blog but don't know where to start. Um, one thing I would recommend is consider starting a blog on Instagram. Um, that is considered blogging. I do have a blog that I post on occasionally, but I actually just started a blog on Instagram. That's a really good way because obviously if you're on Instagram now, you already use this platform and that's one less website you have to keep up with. So I recommend thinking of a blog name and it's okay if it changes later and starting another Instagram account and use that as your blog. Um, and then add, have a website that you, that you put information on, but that's something that I did and it just took a lot of pressure off of, um, Someone says, uh, are you planning on writing anything for Jamie and Aaron's wedding? You know, that that's a really sweet idea. My sister <clears throat> will be getting married soon and I should write something for her. So I suppose I will. <laughs> um, how do you get over writer's block? If you go follow my page, The Storyteller Co, you'll see some of my tips there. But one thing I recommend doing is doing a, writer, um, doing a mind map. Um, just pick one word. Um, it could be just a random word that you think of or a word that means a lot to you. It could be brave or hope or trust and write that word and then like in the middle of the page and then draw out little lines from that word and a, from that word, write what that word means, like write synonyms um, <clears throat> of that word, words that you associate with that word and keep doing that. Just keep on writing words and keep making this map of words and take a few minutes away from it, come back to it and see what inspires you and pick some of those words and try to um, write a sentence out of it. It's kind of hard to explain it, but if you check out my um, uh, page, The Storyteller Co, you'll see it there. Um, thank you so much. Any other writing questions following this question? I love getting emails this week from your website. Thank you so much. And I'm sorry for those who were not receiving emails. I had some kind of way duplicated a list or something. I did something weird and some people weren't getting them. So I'm really sorry about that. I have a blog and I write on Instagram and I don't seem to get a lot of following or feedback. Um, I think the biggest thing is to get off Instagram. I know that might sound really weird because I'm on Instagram, but um, the way that I get the word out about my writing is rarely ever on Instagram because Instagram is just too crowded. It's just, 
it's one of the most, if not the most popular platform right now that people are using, especially if you're in your teens or 20s or 30s. Um, but because of that, it's almost impossible to get discovered. So I actually spend twice the amount of time that I spend on, um, on Instagram, on Pinterest, because um, on Pinterest and also Tumblr, like I think I have like 20,000 followers on Tumblr and I post on Tumblr all the time. Like Tumblr is not dead. <laughs> There's still plenty of people using Tumblr. There's still plenty of people using Snapchat, plenty of people using Twitter, plenty of people using YouTube. So that's something I recommend. If, if, you, if you're spending a lot of time on Instagram, I, I would say look at other platforms and send them back to your Instagram. So one little trick that I do on Pinterest is when I post my Pinterest graphics, instead of sending them to my website, I send them to my Instagram. So um, yeah. That's just one little thing I do. Hi, Morgan. I'm not a creative type, but I'm reading your poetry lately, and I'm inspired by your work as well. Where would someone like me start with trying to trying to start creative writing? That's awesome. That's awesome that you want to try creative writing. I would say that start with journaling. Um, and if you don't know how to journal, you can literally just start by logging your activities of the day. Um, so much of writing is the actual like pen to paper or typing, just getting it out. Because when you're sending a text message to someone, um, that's considered creative writing. You created those words to say to them. So, um, you know, there's such thing as poetic creative writing and literary creative writing, but creative writing is sending a text message. It is like just writing out your thoughts for the day. So just start really small. Um, you know, don't feel pressured to be poetic or prolific or profound. Just try to say what's on your heart, what's on your mind. So. Is there anything you dislike about writing and how do you get past or overcome that obstacle? Yes. Um, for me personally, it's the amount of typos that I make. If you've been following me for a while, you know, that I make a lot of typos. I did have dyslexia as a child. I think that may be something to do with it, but I, I make a lot of typos. So that's probably the most frustrating thing. And then also, you know, it is hard when you sometimes put a lot of work into something um, and it doesn't get the response that you were looking for but that's something that I really work to overcome and um, I'm always reminded by the sweet people like the people that are watching this right now on this Saturday you could be watching anything and you're watching this like I'm reminded by you that it's worth doing and it's worth pursuing so yeah um, I'm on I'm a wordpress.org girl and considering Squarespace thoughts I like both equally I'm currently on Squarespace just because um, I wanted to give it a shot and I like it, but I, I will say that Squarespace is easier to work for me. I, I just like the design better, but WordPress is great for, WordPress.org is definitely great for the long run. Um, so I, I say just give it a shot and pick, and yeah, SEO is definitely way better on WordPress dot, dot um, with self-hosted WordPress sites. Um, I've been very blessed that I have really good SEO just coming from Pinterest. So I'm not ever, I haven't really been too worried about that, but you're totally right on that. Your words, your words are so inspiring and always hit me where I need them. Thank you so much, Natalie. Thank you. Do you have like a favorite quote or something? Um, I would love to know if you did. You don't have to like put the whole thing here. Uh, this isn't a question, but I would totally love if you write something, you follow me on Twitter. Oh, wow. Well, hello, Sadie. Um, yeah, guys. So the thing is, is my goal is to be able to write at least 100 poems a day. Um, and I get over, like most days I get over 100 messages a day. So it's been really hard for me to try to get to everyone. And then plus Instagram won't allow me to respond to everyone either. So that's a part of it as well. Like I literally can't respond even though I try. Um, I've been blocked out a few times um, for spam, so I have to be careful with that. Um, Instagram will like shut you out and say, you've sent too many DMs, you sent too many comments. Like, is that a point now where you can't even, like you know how you can put a heart on a comment? You can only do so many of those, even on your own account. I learned that the hard way. So <laughs> um, yeah, that, that to me, when someone said, somebody asked earlier about, um, uh, dislike that to me is one of the hardest things for me is like I'm very blessed that my platform is growing but it really does bother me that I can't respond to everyone like because I know what it feels like to be on social media and people don't respond to you and you're asking questions or you're trying to be involved with what they do and I know what that feels like and I'm totally always on a mission 
um, to not be that way. And it's really hard. Yes, Caitlin, I have been in Insta jail many times. So yes, how long have you been writing poems? Since I was very, very young. I started out writing stories, but the first poem that I feel like I remember actually writing out was maybe 10 or 11, 10 or 11 years old. So yeah. Um, any other writing questions? <laughs> Emily says she's been in Insta jail too. Yeah, it happens. They they only allow you to respond to so many people. <laughs> do we have to just send several times if that happens? Yes, that's true. Like, I do not care if you message me every single day. Um, there's there's one person who literally messaged me every single day. I think for like two weeks before I finally saw her message, um, and I was like, wow, I'm I. And it's not like, it, y'all, I promise, when I say I don't see it, it doesn't mean like, oh, I saw your name and I didn't click on it. It means I literally don't even see it. Like, that's why I always tell people to leave the heart on my comments because at least I can see all the comments, but I cannot see all the messages. And that's just the nature of social media. So I just really hope that before I get to you that, you know, you enjoy the other other posts um, that I share. And also, please, 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 um, if you are a writer or you're passionate about writing or just encouraging or inspiring other people, please do this project as well. Because it's, you know, I can't do it all. Like, I, I, I can only write so much, but there are so, like, in this story, I know some of the usernames here. I see them. I see Jacqueline here. I see Emily Ferda here. I see some incredibly talented writers in here. And I just keep thinking, I'm like, I want other people to hear. And I'm not saying like, oh, you have to do this project. That's not what I'm saying. All I'm saying is that like, like go find some other writers and, or if you are a writer, consider like incorporating this into what you do. Even if you don't consider yourself a brand or a professional writer, even if you're in high school, um, you know, pay it forward, pay it forward. Um, I'm doing this project because people have taken time for me. There have been very influential people who, did not have to take the time to pour in my life, but they did. And that means the world to me and I just want to pass it on. So, um, yeah. Oh, thank you, Jacqueline. Thank you. Thank you. I, I feel like you're already doing that. Like, I just love the way you interact with people and the way that you respond to people. I see that so much with what you do. And, and I love that. I caught, I don't think I commented, but I caught a little bit of your live stream last night. Um, and just the way you engage, like that means so much to people. So I think it's really awesome that you're doing that. I'm starting to write song lyrics. You have inspired me. Oh, wow. Thank you, Jordan. I'm so glad to hear that. Yes, write songs. Where do you get the confidence to do this? Um, I'm think, That's a good question, Samantha. I'm still trying to find it. Um, <laughs> I, I don't feel confident most of the time I do share. But one thing that, that did help me a lot was just when I started doing this for people one-on-one, -on -one, it helped me see that like, it helped me see that it was less about me and it was more about like how I could encourage someone else. Um, so I just, so now when I post something, now that I know that there's one person in the world that received that message and was possibly encouraged by it, even before I shared it publicly, um, that honestly gives me hope and encouragement and confidence to share because I'm like, now essentially I'm just copying everyone in on what has already happened. Um, you know, it's kind of like showing the photo after an event has already happened. You know, if you went to a New Year's Eve event and then hours later, you know, a day later, you showed the photo. It's like, sometimes it's easier to show the photo if it's when it's over. Does that make sense? I don't know. So that's one thing I've done is like, I really break it down to like these one-on-one -on -one interactions because that helps me stay grounded and remember that even though there may be you know, a thousand people that see this, I wrote it for that one person. And if, and if that one person received it, like literally just received it in their mailbox, then, then that piece of work already did its job. So that's just something I have to constantly remind myself of because I do still, um, sometimes I post things and I'm like, oh, like maybe am I sharing too much? Like it's, no one's gonna resonate with this. Um, so yeah, I don't know if that helps, if that's practical at all. Um, let's see. Yes. Uh, oh, hello, Royal Daughters. Go follow Royal Daughters. They're great. I mean, she's great. <laughs> Oregon is gossip. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate that. Any tips for writing a song? I would say find the thing that you um, like the most about writing songs and 
triple down on that. So for some people, they really love the lyrics. For some people, they really love the melody. I'm not a huge melody person. That's why even though I'm a singer-songwriter, my page is filled with words. Um, because anytime I'm in a writing session, I'm the one with the words. Like, I'm not the one with the words, but I'm always the one that's like, oh, we'll get to the melody later. Like, let's just work on the words. I know some artists, I've written with some artists who are the exact opposite. Like, they go straight to the piano, they go straight to the sound, they go straight to the melody. Um, so figure out which part of it that you love the most and just spend a lot of time listening to music that you like and music that really speaks to you. And not try to copy that music, but just incorporate how that music makes you feel into your music. If that makes sense and also try little challenges like writing a song every day for 30 days that's something that i learned from john foreman like 11 years ago and i tried it and it really challenged me to you know not get so stuck on being this profession perf perfectionistic writer so i'm a fiction writer any tips you're writing makes, oh well, your writing makes you cry wow well thank you so much for reading um i hope that those are happy tears um uh any tips for writing fiction um, I'm not really sure. Oh, 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 I've mentioned this before, but when I write fiction, I haven't really shared much of my fiction yet. Um, anybody on here use Wattpad? Leave a comment and say, yes, I use Wattpad. If you do, I would love to know because I've been thinking about sharing some of my fiction on there just to see what people think. Um, but uh, I would, I use uh, Joseph Campbell's um, Hero's Journey. Uh, I write to that. And what it is, is this 12 step thing that happens in like every story. Um, it's like a theory. It's really fascinating. So you can Google it, Joseph Campbell's Hero's Journey, and this little map will come up. And then there's a, oh, someone, two people use Wattpad. Oh my gosh. All right. I'm going to put something up there just for you guys. Um, Cause I, I was, I was thinking that no one was going to say they use Wattpad. So you guys gave me hope. So yeah, um, and with the hero's journey, there's like the inner journey and there's like the outer journey. So like what the character is experiencing on the inside and everything they experience throughout the story um, and just the character development and then what's happening in the world that the character lives in. Um, really cool stuff. So yes, let's see. Thank you. Uh, you gave me an opportunity to write devotionals. Yes, yes. Oh, I'm so glad, Tracy. I'm so glad that um that we met that way I, I i was so rude your stuff on wattpad really well thank you guys but i'm gonna put some stuff up let me know what kind of genres you're interested in i mean i don't write in every genre but i would just love to know um do you ever experience writer's block i do i do but um when i do the the mind map that that's the thing that i mentioned um uh earlier in this and then on my page the storyteller can i talk about that more um, that's, I keep writing even when I have writer's block. Like, I do not let that stop me. Even if I have to write, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. Like, I just get in the rhythm of writing and eventually the words come. Um, let's see. What apps do you use to writing? I've had a really sad past month and a half when it comes to apps and writing. I don't know what's wrong with my phone. I have the iPhone 10 and it's been acting up like crazy. I've done all the updates. I've deleted a bunch of stuff. I've uninstalled and reinstalled apps but i i used to primarily use google docs i would just you know just a regular old free google docs but now it's been freezing on me like if i write more than say like a thousand words in a document which i do i write a lot every single day and what i actually do is everything i write in one day i put it in one file so when i wake up in the morning if i'm writing then everything that happens in one day I even including text messages I sent, I put everything in one file. Um, and lately it's been really, really hard to get Google Docs to work. So I switched back over to the Apple Notes app. Same exact thing started happening. So you know what I've been doing? You know what I've been doing for the past, um, what, I guess like a month, especially the past two weeks? I send text messages to myself. That's how I've been writing <laughs> because I can't seem to get my phone to work. So I've just been using the standard Apple Messages app and sending text messages to myself. Hello, in poetry, good to see you. Um, how does writing make you feel? That's a really good question. Um, it makes me feel like I, I have a voice, like I can connect with others. I've shared my story before. I was a kid who really felt like I couldn't connect with other people. I was a homeschool preacher's kid. I didn't have a lot of friends. I had a younger sister who um, still to this day has Tourette's syndrome and a lot of people made fun of her. 
So she was often bullied and isolated. So I was always the kid that stood up for her because I was not going to tolerate people making fun of my little sister. So I would stand up for her. And as a result, we were both left out. Um, so that left me in a place where I often felt really isolated and like I didn't have friends and that no one, no one even wanted to like not like forget about people caring about my art like I didn't feel like anyone cared to have a conversation with me I remember I went to public school for the first time um, well the second time I tried two times to go to public school um the public schools in my area were really interesting um <laughs> uh, but that's another topic for another time um but the second time I went to public school I was I was I always just kept to myself I didn't think much of it but there was um, this one morning before homeroom where I was sitting in the cafeteria and I was sitting by myself like I always said like I never sat with anyone like people who could just go up to a table of people and just start talking I don't understand how you do it like <laughs> till this day I'm just I'm I am a textbook introvert so I would always sit by myself and one day this guy and this girl this is in ninth grade came up to the table and the guy and the guy he he got ready to sit down like a few chairs over from me and the girl put her hand on his shoulder and she said don't sit here no one is sitting here and he got up and they walked away and that was the first time in my life where I was like I literally just got called a no one like I thought all this time I wasn't making friends because I was just introverted but now I've just been called a no one. I was no one sitting at the table. I'm like clearly some I'm a person. Hello, I'm sitting at this table. And it made me feel invisible. And I dealt with for a very long time feeling invisible, unseen. Um I didn't like I said, I didn't have a lot of friends. I would try to make friends and I and I just couldn't. It was a really difficult thing for me. I dealt with a ton of depression because of that. And art and music i truly believe it's by the grace of god like with art music poetry all of those things like when anyone would listen and when anyone would be interested in what i had to say or write that was that was honestly the moment where i was like wow i am heard i am seen and just because the people around me may not have heard or seen me that doesn't mean that what i have to say has no value so for me, writing makes me feel like I finally have an opportunity to share. And um, yeah, yeah, I definitely really dealt with depression in, in high school. And it was, it was, it wasn't for, it, honestly, like music came into my life at the exact right time, like playing guitar, because it, it was, it was brief in comparison to other people who dealt with depression in high school and just in life. Like, it, I don't feel like it was very long because once I started playing guitar and once I started writing more music and writing more poetry, like I really started to heal from that because so much of the root of my depression was really just feeling isolated and feeling so rejected by other kids my age because I had a really good home life. Like I'm very blessed. My parents are great people. They were always encouraging me. They were always encouraging my sister and I to pursue our gifts. I know a lot of people deal with like their parents not wanting to get the, get into the arts and their parents don't want them to go to school and, and study art or they don't want them to pursue music or different things like that. I didn't do any of that. My parents were amazing at helping with that. But when it came to my peers, it was the exact opposite. I mean, kids, you guys know how it is. Kids can be really cruel. Um, and it hit me really hard, but grace hit me even harder. <laughs> and I found music and just total accident. My grandfather uh, bought a guitar and he was like here you should try to play this in the moment I heard held that guitar I honestly feel like I heard God himself say you're gonna do something with this you're gonna do something with art this is this is for you and I taught myself how to play I taught myself how to sing I taught myself how to do everything and that's when I started sharing poetry on forums and on websites and then social media came around and here we are today <laughs> so that's kind of the the shorter version of the story I'm missing a bunch of the comments here um, any advice on best places to turn for publishing your work or best ways to spark interest in your work that's really a really good question um, I think that it, it just putting out a lot of writing um, that's how I've been able to figure out what the where the interest is I pay a lot of attention, even though I'm not able to respond to every comment. I try to read every single comment and I try my hardest to at least see every single message. 
Um, and in doing that, I, I pay attention to, to what words people say back to me about what I write. So um, if you don't have any following at all, I highly encourage you to ask people in your life, whether that's a teacher, if you're, if you're still in school or a parent, um, you know, even if they're just like, oh, that was good ask them like why do you think it was good or was there any particular phrase that really stood out to you and start to make a list of those things like if if there's something that people always compliment you on or if there's something that people always pick on you for ask what is it like do people laugh at me because I'm awkward well maybe you can write about being awkward like maybe you can see that as an opportunity to encourage other awkward kids and I think that once you speak from those places that you're directly affected by and that you you see so closely you'll start to you'll start to see how you'll start to pay more attention to how people respond and kind of go from there and in terms of getting published I don't know much about that I'm self-published so in terms of getting seen by publishers I have absolutely no clue but if I ever get the opportunity to find out I will definitely let you know <laughs> um, but I use a site called createspace.com it's through amazon.com and um, yeah, I hope that answers to some extent uh, find the beating the ashes amen to that um, Taylor Swift did that <laughs> yeah yeah, I would say I'm a little bit different with that because Taylor Swift was all about like relationships and, and calling out people. I was always a little nervous about that. I was like, I'm not putting anybody's names in songs because I don't want my name in a song. <laughs> so I was a little bit different. Oh, thank you so much, po Pocketful and Liz. Is it Liz or Lizzie? I feel terrible. I can't remember. Um, if it's Liz, I feel really bad for nicknaming you Lizzie. But <laughs> if I just said that like totally unsolicited. Um, thanks so much for sharing. Oh, well, thank you so much, Queen Astronaut. I'm so glad that you found that encouraging. I want to thank you for encouraging your points. It's given me the last few weeks I've been speaking and, and singing in my original day church. Wow, that's so good. That's so good, Haley. I'm so glad to hear that. That's awesome. Well, yes, yes, yes. Mary Duth has a great book on steps to get published. Yes, there is a lot of good information out there um, about publishing and self-publishing. Um, I'm I'm very curious about the process of traditional publishing and if that opportunity ever presents itself then that will be wonderful. Hello Mar Mariah Eddings. I hope that you are having a lovely Saturday or Sunday if you are in Australia. Um did I miss any other questions? I think I'm going to go soon. I'm kind of losing my voice, but the workshop went really great today. I'm so grateful for everyone that I was able to meet. Hello, good day from Trinidad and Tobago in the Caribbean. That's awesome. Your writing is so inspirational. Thank you, Zoe. I appreciate that. Thank you, guys. You're so kind for watching this. Um, Let's see, do you know exactly how to break down dialogue grammar? Because that's something I always struggle with. You know, I wish I did. I wish I did. It's like, you know, I wasn't like really good. I won't say I wasn't really good at school, but I wasn't just like amazing at school. But grammar was always the one thing that just came really naturally to me. Um, you know, I, I honestly don't know why. I wish I knew why. I honestly, I, I don't know what tips to give about that other than maybe to read more like you know like read more books that you find interesting and kind of start to mimic what they do but I don't know what it was like when you will have those little tests that you had to figure out if you know if it was which there it was like there there or there I I, I didn't have to think twice about it I don't know why I never I never dealt with that so I'm really not sure hello from San Diego we have quite a few people in here from San Diego I need to do something down there Mm -hmm. your wife showed you my instagram well thank you Drew. that's awesome well tell your wife i said hello and thank you that's very kind i would love to come to ghana someday that'd be lovely awesome well i think i'm going to go guys thank you so much for watching this video um i'm a little on the tired side but i just wanted to do some sort of writing related live stream because i did say that i was going to do it and then i didn't i didn't get a chance to do it so thank you guys and have a wonderful rest of your Saturday and make sure you check out my mailing list it's on my website if you would like to um, get something in the mail that I don't that I don't post anywhere else other than via email box so you can check that out there and I will hopefully be doing more writing sessions soon and I'm so sorry about that junky kitchen back there uh, my husband catered the event today so we had to like clean we had to like get everything out to um, cook and all that good stuff so Thank you guys, 
and have a wonderful, wonderful evening. See you later.